I've been wood turning now with the club for about six years. Um, I'm, uh, I'm not like a lot of these guys, engineers. Uh, when Andy Wolf was here demonstrating uh, decorating and uh, things like that, she said, most of these clubs as I travel around the nation are filled with retired engineers. Uh, I'm a, uh, if anything, I'm a social scientist, uh, meaning uh, I deal with the people who do things wrong continually. Uh, so what I am is a, a district judge. I've been a district judge in, uh, for, no, it's in DCIM. This one? Yep, there you go. There you go. Everybody tries to do something and then see if they get caught. So that's sort of been my woodworking. It's sort of been trial and error. And I kept saying, does anybody know anything about a bowl from a board? And <coughs> no answers. No, I don't know, you know, uh, among the board members. And uh, so I, I got the challenge from uh, President Phil uh, to fill his agenda and be the presenter for today. So uh, you, the, I guess the idea is you can make a bowl out of one board, or you can make a bowl out of many boards and intersperse the colors and the grain and, and things like that. Uh, it actually is, I believe, one of the earliest forms of segmented uh, wood turning. Uh, in fact, the way I heard about it was in one of Malcolm Burko's um, posts about uh, how to make them. Um, literally. There it is. So, it looks like this. You take the board and you mark lines on it using a, uh, a scale that you decide on. So you just paste this on your uh, thing. Now, when I started out, I didn't do that. Uh, I just uh, borrowed the ringmaster from uh, President Phil and started cranking away. Uh, we've got a picture of what I've ever done. Uh, so uh, this is a ringmaster. It was designed to go on a shopsmith. Uh, but they do have them for lathes also, and I have, I've got an old Magna uh, shopsmith that I've used and updated over the years. And what this thing does, it's got two cutters on it, and the board goes in like this, so the ring is being cut on an angle, all right? And you can change the angle by tilting this thing, all right? And some boards can have a thick bottom, uh, 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 thicker uh, thickness of the bowl or, or a thinner thickness and you can change you, you, you turn it upside down and you take the first one and you put it there the second ring stacks up like this the third ring stacks up like this the fourth ring stacks up like that and voila now, this was not the first bowl I made. Uh, I had, uh, I don't know where, my, my parents lived during the Depression and uh, my mother was born in Scotland, so we learned to reuse things. And this was an old board that I had from, uh, I think it was Forest City. It was still wrapped in plastic. It was supposed to be a nice um, shelf board. I said, oh, I'll use that. I didn't even give a thought as to what was in the, this is what, I came out with on the first try, and I said, "Oh, that looks pretty nice." In fact, uh, one of the uh, one of the turnings over there that's very nice has a stepped inside. I go, oh, "This would fit perfectly in that." You know? But a bowl doesn't look like this. You know, a bowl is supposed to be, you know, have those straight sides and be smooth. Um, what I didn't know was that in order to have these sides match side to side you had to have the right angle. And the angle can change uh, just by... Now, what angle? So, this is the... Well, this is going to be a right triangle here. So here's your angle right in here. You can compute this if we can go to the next uh, sign. Well, I guess I should look here first. All right. So 
uh, you can make them out of a bandsaw, you can do a scroll saw, and you can do the best job in the log run. Lathe cut rings, uh, I was unable to, uh, to do that, and I'll discuss that at the end. Next slide. Alright, so the angle of the cut is the most important thing. And it's uh, back in high school and geometry. Um, so we had this thing, they tell us, Sokata, uh, which is about so, sine, cosine, and tangent. Uh, and this is the opposite. Alright? So, <clears throat> the adjacent is the thickness, the opposite side is the width of the ring. So that tells you uh, how, whatever, whatever is the proper width of your ring. And the angle is determined by, for a board that's three quarters of an inch thick and a desired overlap of one half inches, the tangent of the angle is listed by this as tangent A degrees and degrees equals the opposite length divided by the adjacent length. Mm -hmm. So it was 0.5 divided by 0.75 gives a value of 0.6. About this scientific calculator, if you put 40 degrees in it, it'll give you this figure. It always seems that you're dividing the largest item into the smallest item to get a ratio of less than one, but I don't know. And on my calculator, which happens to come with my iPhone, uh, there's a second function which is also called an arc function, I believe, mm -hmm. which gives you the degrees. If you translate it back from the 8390, da 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 da, it would come out to 40 degrees. So, so you can divide the ring width by the adjacent length, it's this. And like I said, that belongs to the devil because it's all sixes. So, if you use, you have to use a scientific calculator or you have to have uh, a table. Uh, most of the, there are tables available which will tell you the, the lengths here. Or, it's, our, it's our Shopsmith tool that does everything. It's so old, it's, it's uh, beige in color. Um, so it, go, it cuts in there, and there's an equal blade. If we can uh, see, there's another blade coming from the other side. So if you just turn this wheel very easily, six times, and you six times, and if you do it right, you do the front side first, then you start in the back and you stop. Well, I showed you what my first my first bowl looked like. Um, now, on the Shopsmith, there's an indexing system under here of of specific holes where you can put an index pin in, pin in, but it makes very very thin bowls. They're five sixteenths of an inch in difference each time. So uh, Phil, while well, he uses, put, created this scale here, and you can choose. You have to just fill it, figure it out how far you're going to move uh, along that to get the right. If the two blades don't match up, if one goes in this way and one comes back this way, it's you can see it's two different levels. Now coming together here, it, it wasn't too bad. Next one. Uh, okay, now my uh, inspiration or my knowledge from uh, doing this came from uh, a lot of visits to the website, but the, the book that really uh, answered all my questions is this by uh, Carol Rothman. And Carol does um, a lot of beautiful, beautiful bowls. Harbor Freight works just fine. Um, and in her book, she had a lot of good, good uh, examples of what you should do and what you shouldn't do. One of the things she said that, uh, and I'll pass it on to you because it applies to bandsaws too, and that is tighten this up really tight. You know, get the tension on the blade top and bottom real tight. Otherwise it'll wiggle and you'll get curved edges and whatnot, which I did. Uh, the angle setting on this and on the bandsaw are tricky, very, very tricky. Um, so I used, this really was quite invaluable, this uh, digital, uh, digital angle finder, I guess I call it. And 
it, it, it just was just absolutely terrific, you know, for setting your, putting this on a table and matching it up with the blade. The problem is that you have to have watch out where your zero point is because you know 90 degrees here and then 90 degrees there and then it, it turns out you're subtracting angles from a given baseline and you engineers understand that. Oh, I know that. That, that old uh, board I had and I did part of it in um, with the scroll saw. So the scroll saw, as you can see, is th gives this kind of a service even for a piece of junk wood, you know. Uh, real smooth, real shiny. The, um, the ringmaster operates like a scraper and it really agitates and irritates the wood. However, it, it is so solid <clears throat> it doesn't allow for any uh, movement of the uh, of the wood against the uh, cutters. Uh, it, it is very very precise as to the circles that you get out of it. I mean, they are really really good circles. With the scroll saw, you have to drill a hole in at the proper angle to start your uh, ring, and so you well, there's they're at the um, at the various degrees, and so you just you have to insert this into the starting point of your ring, and you take an awl, uh, which is very very important to have a good awl, and um, and then a really small, the smallest uh, possible uh, in a series of I think it's a sixteenth of an inch. And even with it being a sixteenth of an inch, you can slide the blade from the bottom of the scroll saw right up through that and then hook it up into the top, tension it, and you're ready to go. But you keep all your standard angles that work, and I put this for a little relief for when the, uh, when the drill head came down. But really, once you get it in and you make that much of a of the insert, you can just take it out and you can just, it'll follow itself. Which I made very thick. All of her bowls are like three-eighths, quarter of an inch. They're very, very thin. I'm going to pass the book around. And these are some of her, uh, <coughs> and turning it to be what people can do uh, for a, uh, a regular lathe uh, turner. I, uh, I, uh, could not figure out a way to keep all of this stuff centered. Uh, the a point where I could create a gripping point to finish the bowls, either. <coughs> we call it where you grip it. It was on here. I just flicked it over to, uh, and I made an inset. So now it's ready for chucking. Uh, because otherwise, th these bowls, when you just put them all together in pieces, just like, how many do segmented turning in here? A few. All right. So um, these, these bowls are really rough. A really bouncy, uh, and it's just very, very difficult. You can see why she recommends grinding them, um, uh, because you know you take it. You've got to really uh, cut it down. What is the angle? But once you you take it off and you uh, run it on um, some other thing, even even if you take put a piece of wood on this one, next time you do it, it's going to be slightly different and slightly, <coughs> and slightly different. But I wanted to thank uh, President uh, Phil for his challenge. Uh, I learned a little bit, found out I don't know a lot uh, about a lot of things, and uh, I'm done with my, my performance.